What were those objects and that newly declassified U.S. Navy footage that you just saw? Joining me now is Dr. Stephen Greer, founder of the UFO Disclosure Project. Uh, Dr. Greer, the Pentagon just declassified these videos, though they've been previously leaked. What's the explanation? What were those objects? Well, there are actually two. Uh, it's good seeing you again, Laura. I was on your good show when you had a radio show. There was a show. Yes, um, I remember. There were two types. There are two types of objects. One are uh, classified aerospace devices. Uh, this is a letter from Ben Rich, Lockheed Skunk Works, uh, that he wrote in 1986. And he describes there are two types. One are extraterrestrial vehicles. The other are advanced uh, anti-grav, so-called uh, U.S. classified projects. Now, the leak of this film actually happened back in 2017. And it's interesting because there's a documentary we've just released that's number one on iTunes it's called Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind that goes into the background on this leak, which actually was not a leak. It was released by people who were part of what you often refer to, sort of an authoritarian uh, transnational group that is trying to create a specter of some kind of threat from space, which actually well, does not yeah. exist. Okay, but what is that? Because it, when you look at the speed of these objects, uh, and, and Derek Thompson from the Atlantic uh, said that the size and speed of the UFO show that it's like 40 feet long when they analyzed it. It went from 28,000 feet to sea level, so it's really fast. It means it was capable of achieving a velocity of at least 23,864 miles per hour, 31 times the speed of sound. 20 times faster than an F-18, is that possible? Are you, are you disputing that? No, that's completely correct. You know, my uncle designed the lunar module, put the first man on the moon, as you know, and, and so uh, these, these sort of technologies have been classified for a very long time. Uh, there are a lot of people who pretend like uh, there's not much known on this, and the tragedy is that these sort of technologies uh, have been uh, explored and discovered and would benefit the humanity greatly if they were disclosed, but there are a lot of people who want to control the status quo They don't want that out. But yes, we have radar tracings, for example, in the disclosure project that trace uh, these objects moving in an excess of 200,000 kilometers an hour, much faster than this one. And so there's no question that these are legitimate actual objects. The technology and physics behind them are actually quite well understood but they have been uh, sort of this whole thing has been hijacked. Gordon Cooper, who was one of the early astronauts and I presented to the Federalist Society a number of years ago, this problem that there is an anti-constitutional uh, project that has kept this secret in defiance of many of the people in our government. Uh, when I briefed the CIA director and the head of the Defense Intelligence Agency, they tried to find out about this and were being denied access. So this is both a mm. scientific and a policy constitutional wow. crisis. Well, Dr. Greer, there's a lot to unpack there. Uh, it's wild. Uh, I think my kids and I watched it about, I don't know, 50 times. Uh, thank you for joining well, you us. You probably want uh, to see Close Encounters. If you look uh, at Close Encounters of the Fifth Time, this uh, documentary, uh, you're going to see okay. amazing evidence. About All right. Well, yeah. um, we'll check it out. Thank you, Dr. Greer.